everyone and in today's video for financial accounting we will be going through debentures. We will also be doing a question and a solution. And as always let's start off with the definition. A debenture is a type of bond or other debt instrument that is unsecured by collateral. Since debentures have no collateral backing they must rely on the credit worthiness and reputation of the issuer for support. Both corporations and governments frequently issue debentures to raise capital or funds. A debenture is basically a loan that is issued on a fixed interest rate. The issuer of a debenture to a company does not become a shareholder slash owner, but rather a creditor of the company as the debenture is treated as a liability. The fixed interest rate on the debenture remains constant, irrespective of whether the company makes a profit or loss. No rights are awarded to the issuer of the debentures, so the issuer has no rights to the decision making of the entity. The features of a debenture are as follows. It is on a fixed interest rate. It is a loan document, so a liability to the company. Interest is payable irrespective of the company turning a profit or a loss. It can be bought or sold through the stock exchange, either above or below its face value. The repayment is specified at a specific date, i.e. the maturity date. The face value or par value of a debenture is the amount paid to the debenture holder at the maturity date, as long as the debenture holder does not default. There are two types of debentures, convertible and non-convertible debentures. Convertible debentures are bonds that can convert into equity shares of the issuing corporation after a specific period. Convertible debentures are hybrid financial products with the benefits of both debt and equity. Companies use debentures as fixed rate loans and pay fixed interest payments. However, the holders of the debenture have the option of holding the loan until maturity and receive the interest payments or convert the loan into equity shares. Convertible debentures are attractive to investors that want to convert to equity if they believe the company's stock will rise in the long term. However, the ability to convert to equity comes at a price, since convertible debentures pay a lower interest rate compared to other fixed rate investments. Non-convertible debentures are traditional debentures that cannot be converted into equity of the issuing corporation. To compensate for the lack of convertibility, investors are rewarded with a higher interest rate when compared to convertible debentures. Alright, let's begin with our example. On the 1st of January 2018, A Limited purchased debentures at its fair value of 1.5 million rand. No transaction costs were paid by A Limited. The debenture issuer pays an annual coupon interest of 170,000 Rand on the 31st of December each year. The debentures will be redeemed on the 31st of December 2022 at an amount of 2 million Rand. A Limited correctly classified the debentures as a financial asset measured at amortized cost. On the 1st of January 2018, A Limited estimated the 12 month expected credit losses at an amount of 5,000 Rand. On the 31st of December 2018, there was a significant increase in the credit risk of the debentures since its initial recognition. However, there was no default in the payment of interest for the year ended 31 December 2018. The debentures were not credit impaired at any stage. On the 31st of December 2018, the 12 month expected credit losses were estimated to be 7,000 Rand and the lifetime expected credit losses on the debentures amounted to 140,000 Rand. On the 31st of December 2018, the following journals in respect of the purchased debentures were posted. 1st January 2018, financial assets at amortized cost statement of financial position, 1.5 million Rand debited. Bank statement of financial position 1.5 million rand credited. This was to recognize the financial asset. On the 31st of December 2018, bank statement of financial position 170,000 rand debited. Financial assets at amortized cost statement of financial position 170,000 rand credited. This was for the recognition of the interest received. On the 31st of December 2018, A Limited issued 35,000 convertible debentures at a coupon rate of 8% per annum. 
The debentures were issued at fair value with a face value of 16 rand per debenture. The maturity date of the debentures is 31 December 2022. Each debenture is convertible at the option of the holder into three ordinary shares in A Limited. If the debentures are not converted, they will be settled in cash at face value. A market-related interest rate on the 31st of December 2018 for similar debentures without conversion rights is 16% per annum. Transaction costs incurred and paid amounted to 13,000 Rand. On the 31st of December 2018, the following journal in respect of the debentures issued was posted. 31 December 2018 Bank Statement of Financial Position 35,000 convertible debentures times 16 Rand per debenture gives a total of 560,000 Rand. 560,000 Rand debited. Debentures at fair value, statement of financial position, created 560,000 Rand. This was the recognition of the debentures issued. Required. Prepare all the correcting and any outstanding journal entries in respect of the purchased debentures and the issued convertible debentures in the financial records of A Limited for the year ended 31 December 2018. Please note, journal narrations are not required, journals should be dated, and ignore taxation. Alright, let's begin with the solution. Let's start off with the calculation of the interest income on the purchase debentures. So, we need to figure out all of our components for this calculation. So the first one will be N, which is the period. As you can see, from the 1st of January 2018 to the redeemable maturity date, which is the 31st of December 2022, the period is 5 years. The present value is obviously the 1.5 million rand that the company purchased it at fair value. The future value will obviously be the redeemable amount, which is the amount of 2 million rand. And the payment will be the coupon interest of 170,000 rand that the company pays annually. Okay, let's go find the interest. So N equals 5, PV equals 1.5 million, that's the present value. Future value is 2 million. Payment is 170,000 Rand. And compute I slash Y equals 16.1646%. Please ensure that either your PV or your FV has a negative in front of the amount, otherwise there will be an error in calculating it. And then you can either 1 or mort, or take the present value of 1.5 million times the percentage you just worked out, 16.1646%, gives us a total of 242,469 Rand. Okay, and now that we've worked that out, we can go fill in our journals. Debentures Financial Asset, 31 December 2018. Financial Assets at Amortized Cost, Statement of Financial Position. Debit, 242,469 Rand. Interest income, profit or loss. Credit, 242,469 Rand. We are recognizing the interest received. So now we're going to look at the recognition of expected credit losses for the period. So, our lifetime expected credit losses on the debentures amounted to 140,000 Rand. And on the 31st of December 2018, the 12-month expected credit losses were estimated to be 7,000 Rand. Let's go fill in the journals. Expected credit losses, profit or loss, that's going to be 133,000 Rand. Allowance for expected credit loss, that's going to be credit, 133,000 Rand. That is the 140,000 Rand minus the 7,000 Rand. Let's go calculate the financial liability component. So... From the 31st of December 2018 till the 31st of December 2022, that's four years, so the period N equals four years. The R slash Y, which is 16%, that'll be our interest. Then the payment will be the 35,000 debentures times the 16 Rand per debenture times the 8%. That'll give us a total of 44,800 Rand as the payment. Our future value will be the 35,000 shares times the 16 Rand. That'll give us a total of 560,000 Rand. Compute present value. Our present value will be 434,642 Rand. 
Okay, now that we have that, let's work out the components. So the proceeds, 35,000 debentures times 16 rand per debenture, it's 560,000 rand. Present value of the financial liability that we just worked out, 434,642 rand. Deduct, and that'll give us an equity component of 125,358 rand. Okay, the last thing to calculate is the transaction components to be capitalized. So liability components, the present value 434,642 Rand, divided by the 560,000 Rand times the transaction cost of 13,000 Rand, that'll give us a total of 10,090 Rand. The total transaction costs were 13,000 Rand, so the balancing component is 2,910 Rand. Okay, let's go fill in our journals. Okay, debentures liability, 31 December 2018. Debentures at fair value, statement of financial position, debit, 560,000 Rand. Financial liability at amortized cost, debentures, statement of financial position, credit, 434,642 Rand. Equity component of the convertible debentures, statement of changes in equity, Credit 125,358 Rand. This is for the recognition of the debenture liability. Then, financial liability at amortized cost, debentures, statement of financial position, debit 10,090 Rand. Equity components of convertible debentures, statement of changes in equity, debit 2,910 Rand. Bank, statement of financial position, credit. 13,000 Rand. This is for the recognition of expected credit losses for the period. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.